This video will outline how to assess pain on critical care. Pain should be assessed every four hours unless a patient is deeply sedated with a RAS of less than minus three. The video will explain two methods of pain assessment, self-reported pain and CPOT. Self-reported pain is the gold standard in pain assessment, but only appropriate in patients that are able to communicate. To assess self-reported pain, we need to ask the patient if they're in pain. If they are, they should score this pain between 0 and 10, where 10 is the most severe pain they can imagine. CPOT is the Critical Care Pain Observation Tool. This should be used if the patient is unable to communicate and their RAS score is greater than or equal to minus 3. It is not suitable if patients are more deeply sedated than this. CPOT is assessed by observing the patient in their surroundings for one minute and gently flexing their elbow. There are four components that are assessed to generate a CPOT score. The first is facial expression, second body movements, third muscle tension, fourth compliance with ventilator. If a patient is not ventilated, a score is based on their vocalisation. Here the patient looks relaxed with a neutral facial expression and would score zero for this area. Here the patient looks tense with some frowning, orbital tightening and brow lowering. This scores one point. Now the patient is grimacing with features of a tense expression but eyelids tightly closed. This would score two points. A patient who is not moving scores zero for this area. Slow and cautious protective movements, touching a site of pain or attempting to seek attention scores one point. A restless patient who might be pulling at tubes, attempting to sit up or thrashing limbs scores two points. Here the patient is relaxed with no resistance to passive movement, scoring zero points. Here the patient is tense and there is some resistance to passive movement, they would score one point. If there is a lot of resistance or they are completely rigid, they score two points. The final area of CPOT is the patient's compliance with ventilation. If they're not ventilated, their vocalisation. Here the patient is easy to ventilate and no alarms are activated, scoring zero. Here the patient is coughing but tolerating ventilation with some spontaneously resolving alarms. This would score one point. Here the patient is fighting the ventilator. There is asynchrony and frequent alarms, scoring two points. In extubated patients, the fourth section of CPOT is scored based on their vocalisation. Are they talking with a normal tone or not making a sound? Are they sighing or moaning? Or are they crying out or sobbing? Morning Martin, you alright? Yeah, I'm feeling good today, thank you. Yeah, definitely want to... Is anybody there? I'm in agony. For God's sake, is anybody there? Ah, oh, I can't stand this anymore. The total CPOT score is the sum of the scores from each area. After pain has been assessed, it should be treated if the patient reports they are in pain or the total CPOT score is over 2.